I'm going to demonstrate the uh, problem with sync in uh, Adobe Flash. And sync, you may have noticed before if you've used Flash, Flash very much. If you look at a motion tween, and you go over to the properties panel, you'll see in this motion tween, sync is checked. You can also see it in the timeline because there are no lines between the keyframes. If you don't see any lines between the keyframes, then you know that sync has been enabled. The, the thing is that sync will by default be enabled if you create a motion tween by, uh, by doing it by, by right clicking on the timeline and selecting create classic tween. Uh, the problem is that when sync is enabled, so we have just some motion, most, mostly these are, these are all the same keyframe. I was just doing a, a sort of demo thing here. Um, the problem is that uh, when sync is enabled, it'll do things that kind of take you by surprise if you don't, if you don't, if you aren't really familiar with how it works. Uh, to illustrate that, I'm going to delete this symbol. So now there's n there's nothing in the timeline right there for that for that uh, tween to do anything to, and in its place, you remember it was a happy happy face before. I'm going to drag in this sad face symbol, which is a different symbol than, but watch this. A happy face shows up. What just happened? Well, the thing is that the sync will actually make sure that everything in this whole continuous timeline will be the same. It'll be all the same symbol. It'll have the same looping, uh, looping setup. So you'll notice loop first frame 31, and we're on thir frame 31 here. That's because the first one was set to loop frame one, and it just goes continuous. This one's going to be 21, loop 21. So it just it just continues the the um, the continuity of the timeline. Um, and part of that is that it makes sure that the symbol always stays the same. So if you try and drag a different symbol in there, it will do that. It'll, it'll make it so that it's uh, the same symbol as in the rest of the timeline. So when I'm working, I always ha I hate sync. I almost never use it. Um, occasionally I will, but for the most part, I, I just don't want it on. And so uh, early on, I um, realized that I just shouldn't create a motion tween by doing the, that right-click menu. So what do I what do I do? Um, there used to be a command in Flash to through the menu system to create a a motion tween. I'm not sure if that's still there. Uh, let's see. Um, timeline maybe. Yeah, I, don't, I think maybe it's still not still there. It's been so long since I've used it, though, because I wrote uh, a command, a, a Flash command that goes in this menu. You'll see that I have tons and tons of things in this menu. Um, and that's, those are all, mostly, those are commands that I wrote. So anyway, I wrote a command that creates a, t creates a keyframe, uh, sorry, creates a motion tween without having sync turned on. Uh, and it's a it's a pretty simple thing. I'm just going to turn off sync right now, and then uh, and then take out the motion tween. Um, I did that with my with my command, and I'll I'll show you show that to you in a moment. Um, so what it is is you you put your you select a frame where you want the motion tween to happen. And remember, we're talking about classic tweens here. Uh, I I don't generally deal with the uh, the new style of tweens. And then find my uh, find my command. It's called motion tween no sync, and do that. It creates a motion tween, and sync is not enabled. And so let's just do that again. And motion tween no sync. So now we've got this thing moving along. And now if we want to, we can bring in a different symbol. And this time it works. So then the problem is, what if you have a file that already has a bunch of uh, motion tweens that do have sync turned on, such as this? And you notice that it, it changed that frowny face back into a smiley face because I turned on sync when I did the right-click motion tween. Um, 
So I actually created another command where you can select the frames that you don't want sync to be turned on and you can uh, turn them off automatically and it yeah you could you could just unclick the checkbox but there are some times when that doesn't really work and I'll illustrate one of those in a moment anyway here it is turn off sync and voila sync is turned off once again you can tell because now there are lines between the keyframes so the the time when you want to do that but you can't just uncheck the the checkbox let's uh let's check that checkbox again so sync is once again enabled what happens is if if the motion tween isn't currently on so currently there's no motion tween um but in fact in the background sync is still turned on so as long as the motion tween is uh is not on we can still we can replace with with different symbols and it'll work but the moment that motion tween gets turned on it turn it uh, replaces it with that happy face again um oops let me let me do that again uh yeah so so right and so the problem is what you want to do it, like if you ever want to have something on the same frame like this where it's like one thing going to the next thing it's really hard to get rid of sync without having it obliterate the changes that you've made. So I created this command, and that, and even when the motion tween isn't active, you can still call my command, turn off sync, and it'll uh, it'll still work. Oops. And there I used my my motion tween with no sync command. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I will try and uh, try and clarify. Thanks.